What's going on guys, Venox here again and in this video we are going to talk about visual effects So when we think about visual effects, we usually think about CGI, we think about monsters, battles, explosions, buildings floating and destroying and all that stuff but because that requires like so many things before you're able to do those special effects uh, indie filmmakers they, they don't usually they choose projects that they don't require as so many visual effects as, as another project would require what if I told you that special effects and visual effects are not only huge battles, huge explosions, uh, I don't know, like buildings destroying and, and falling down and all that stuff. And for us, like indie filmmakers and small filmmakers, visual effects are also uh, sky replacement, like the fire I used in, in this video's intro, all those little things that they are, they are actually visual effects, but they're way easier to achieve. So that's what we are going to, talk, to do in this video. We are going to uh, make the fire and the, the easy explosion that we did in the beginning. So let's jump into the computer. All right guys, so I've got Premiere open and I'm just having, I just have a clip of me talking in, in my previous video, I think. That's not important. So the first effect we need to add is the fire effect. So I'm just gonna drag that over here and I'm just gonna unlink it because I don't need the sound it doesn't even have some sound just gonna make it a little bit smaller and as you can see at the moment it's covering the screen is not it's not a good effect at the moment so we just click on it you can go to, on to scale and make it bigger for example I want it like fit in my screen over here and this is the important part if you go to blend mode and this is like the easiest thing you can do on visual effects so you can go to uh, blend mode and just click screen so now it's blended with the screen before so if we see it like let it play and it's it's like this. It's it it looks pretty cool, I think. It's not you know that special and, and that wow, but it it looks really cool. Okay, and the second thing we're gonna add is the explosion. And just add it here. And actually, this this explosion has a really good sound effect on it, so I'm gonna keep the sound in here. And as you can see again here. This, this is actually a better effect than the previous one, which is it's not bad, but anyway. So just click on it again, scale it, I don't know how much you want. I'm just gonna make it this big. If you click here, you can even move it around where you want. So I want about here, for example, because I want the fire and then I want the explosion to kick in. Just, just play around with it and then go blend mode to screen and that's it visual effects are ready just if we just click on it and we put the fire boom all right it doesn't look that bad it looks nice i think so yeah there's many things that you can add here i i in my previous uh, short film I added some blood you can add so many things and you can find so many stock free stock uh, videos on YouTube or on Adobe stock or anywhere on on the internet and yeah as you can see these are pretty easy things to do pretty basic things and in the next video uh, I might uh, I'll go to sky replacement which is a little more confusing and you know requires more things to do but uh, I think we're gonna do it we'll see so this is the same effect I do effect I use in my uh, previous short film called sniper where I added a little blood 
on it and it was real easy like the same thing and I just had you to play with the scale a little bit and then the seconds and you know when the blood would come in and everything but otherwise it's it's something small that added a lot to my production value I think there's so many special and visual effects easy visual effects that we as indie filmmakers and more independent filmmakers can use to make our work a little better and a little more appealing and I don't know but again this is the same as the transitions or anything in filmmaking you, you have to be really careful when you use it and it has to have a purpose in order to use it so yeah that's about today's video thank you very much for watching leave a like on this video subscribe if you already haven't and I will see you in the next one.